the final competitor in the junior men's free program, 17-year-old Hyung Young Kim from Korea. He is very strong quad toe. We'll see that probably at the beginning of the program. All the jumps have solid technique. He won silver in Linz, won in Budapest. 155.22 is his season's best. He'll need just a 150.77 to take the title as he skates to Requiem for Dream. The leader after the short program of Hyun Yong Kim from Korea. You can see green lights for 10 of the 11 elements. But you, how fascinating. Simulating the takeoff of the quad toe, the only element that had the red box assigned to it because of that opening fall. Well, he certainly fought all the way through this program. And, you know, you've got to think that it's going to be pretty close for Rio Nakata to perhaps have enough to take this title. We'll see. Yeah, as we start to look at the scores coming in. Yeah, go ahead, Mark. Well, I just thought, as, as the tech panel review things, I thought the triple toe at the end of the triple loops was short of rotation. 
and the tech panel are just reviewing that now. Should that be the case, then that score will continue to mm. drop lower. Let's see. Yeah, quarter. It's on the quarter. So this is going to be very tight. And I think also, to be fair, you know, he really fought through this program and did some good work, some good elements, a little under on that. Mm. And then let's watch. Here's the triple toe loop. And, but it's also the, perhaps, again, the lack of transitions and, and, and steps between the elements and quality in some cases. A great fight. Skating skills, I think, also for Rio Nakata, the yeah. current leader, also stronger. But interesting, Hyung Young Kim was explaining that in so many events, as we look at this, the Triple Lutz, he's just qualified to compete at the Winter Youth Olympics. As we see those under rotations. And he couldn't relax enough to enjoy sightseeing here. He's so consumed with all that's going on in his competitive career as we see the Triple Lutz Double Axel. And it's striking that balance for these young athletes as being able to perform as elite skaters, but also being able to be in the moment and hopefully beyond this, enjoy some of the chance to be in Beijing. Well, it's a big moment in their lives and they don't have a lot of experience in coping with that. The seniors do more so, but even them, even for them, it's stressful. And managing your thoughts and your time, managing your time, you're sitting around a lot, waiting for practices and waiting for buses and, and trying to sleep while your brain is working. Let's take a look at the scores. This will determine the podium, 146.60, second in the free program with a total competition score of 223.61. And he takes the silver, he drops out of the gold medal position to take home the silver. As we see Rio Nakata of Japan moved all the way up with a brilliant skate.